Hey guys and welcome back to another video and I hope you are all okay on that side of the screen and today I've got the Shelly 1pm right over here and as you can see by its size it's really small the pictures we can have an idea how small it is but once we have it on our hands wow and we are going to talk about some differences right over here today the topic is about the solar PV photovoltaic system and one of the cheapest ways and elegant ways to have our solar system measurement having in mind that 16 amps at 220 volts maximum so roughly 3500 watts on 220 volts system if your system is bigger then you will have to uh, find another solution probably this is it the shell em or the 3 em uh, but that's something that you can check it out on the link that I will leave for the 1pm and then you can search for uh, the Shelly product. And having in mind that I just touched the EM, now this is a complete solution for the whole home uh, to get the readings from power consumption on the house and also for our solar production if we have. If we only want to control the power consumption then this is the solution you just need one clamp if you want to have your solar production and two clamps i still haven't had the time to install this one hopefully this week i will be able and then use some details in terms of readings and so on and so forth by the way readings on this one very accurate which i will share in just a few moments now what i did this morning as you have seen by some images i went and replaced two of these devices that i had just to get the readings from my solar systems and beside having the readings I can also have a way to shut down uh, my inverter or micro inverters because I've got the two systems with a device like this through my phone so having all this in mind I'm really happy with the experience but I'm going to share with you some points that I do believe that make a difference first of all this size makes a lot of difference as you guys can see it's completely different and I've used sun off in a lot of projects but the Shelly here has no issues and we know that there are some sun off devices uh, with a smaller size but in terms of functionality I do believe that the 1pm is probably one of the most versatile and if you enjoy this kind of topic stay tuned to the channel because I will bring a lot of implementations using this one right over here with temperature and then uh, turning on our water heater for example also have on my roof a solar water heater system and I will be putting one of these as well right over there for the temperature measurement and so on and so forth so there are a lot of things that we can do including a simple thing to turn on and off a switch so this is also one of the advantages because for example I have a son of power on my hand right over here which is great to measure the power consumption or the power production of a device but if I want to measure temperature for example I have to get the TH16 which is one that I'm using upstairs uh, so I need two devices and with the Shelly 1pm I can and on the next video I'll show you how to do that I can measure the temperature I can switch on and off I can also measure the power consumption which is just just awesome so having that in mind and all these ideas that we can do a lot focusing on the power production and hopefully you are already watching something right over here on the screen which is the app which is very complete one of the most complete apps that i've used for smart devices and we will integrate as well with home assistant to do a lot more but in terms of solar production one of the easiest examples that i can give and i'm already using uh, is that i can use the shelly integrated with home assistant and i can tell it hey when my solar production reaches 1000 watts turn on my water heater for example and if a cloud comes in and the power drops to 200 watts then shut down my water heater and that's exactly the kind of performance that we want from these devices to have a more automated home and smarter home taking advantage of the solar production that we have now looking a little bit at the software as you can see I did implement two and what I can see right over here is that at this moment I've got my Solax 2.5 kilowatts reaching 294 watts of production and the 1.5 system reaching 200 watts which is almost the same uh, we are at 1837 so half past six more or less on a cloudy day really sad day today and that was one of the reasons that I went upstairs to the roof as well but 
as you can see i've got one of these on each system and i can have the info right over here so this was the total production for today of course this was the first day so i've got no earlier data but i will keep on posting on facebook and instagram and so on and so forth so that you guys can keep being informed and right over here i've got the same so i did produce 5.5 kilowatts right over here on the 1.5 kilowatt and also i did produce 8.22 on the other which is just awesome now one thing that i didn't mention and if you are wondering hey robert but if i have one uh, shelly pm and if i have the shelly em won't they mess up the readings no the software is so smart and gives us a lot of options that i can just have this uh, having the readings of my uh, solar production but i can remove it from the total power consumption and production which is just great so really smart right over here in terms of the software itself and if i look at the app like this i can see the total production from my solar pv because i've got an area called solar pv and at this moment 1.06 and if i press it i can see that 695 from the 2.5 system and 377 from the 1.5 system so just just awesome with 13 years we can get this system working really nice. now readings are they accurate and guys i've got a solution right over here which is the weeby a lot more expensive we are talking about 140 150 euros it's a great solution very accurate but but a lot more expensive. This one, the Shelly EM with two clamps costs uh, one third of the price and it's a really complete solution as well. I just need to do some reading, some tests, but if it was today, probably this would be my main system and I would have saved some money compared to that. But that's not the point. The point is that it's accurate and that's one of the systems that I use to uh, do the readings and see if any other system is accurate or not. And the thing is that it's really, really accurate. As you guys can see, I did take some images comparing the two. And the only difference that we will see right over there is that there are different delays on different systems. So we will have a different reading in certain amounts of uh, seconds but it's precise so there will be a difference between one and another and if you ask me hey robert which one is the most accurate that is something that i can't tell you because the difference is so small so if at the end of the month i've got a difference of one two kilowatts in a uh, universe of 700 kilowatts it's uh, very acceptable to me in terms of accuracy. Now, I also test with a not so smart system that I've got upstairs, which is a digital but not smart uh, measurement tool. And what I can see right over there is that uh, the only difference is the refresh time. That one is quicker than any other digital smart uh, tool that I've got, but the result is also very accurate. So I'm really happy to say that in terms of accuracy, it's really good and especially when I have had other systems that I purchased and then they were not accurate and sent them back and of course I did publish here on YouTube and shared with all of you guys just need to search solar and photovoltaic and those kinds of keywords and you will find it right here on the channel but this one yes 13 years working really nicely and of course besides the solar photovoltaic thingy we can do a lot more uh, as I said, and I will bring on more videos what we can do with these devices. And that being said, I hope that the video was helpful in some way, if not in the implementation, at least in the inspiration to get ideas on how we can use these devices. And if it was that the case, don't forget the usual thumbs up, which is really appreciated right over here. My name is Huerto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.